Hello, it's Michelle. Welcome to day 16, Advent day 16. And today we are doing our daily practice in our mini art journal. Um, and I hope that you're joining me. I hope that you are following along, whether you are just listening and watching or <clears throat> making your own creations. Uh, thank you, friends, who are sharing your, um, sending me pictures of um, what you've been creating. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today, day 16, and I want to thank again the Church of the Valley for putting together the Advent, the 24-day Advent that we're using, and also for you version. Um, the Bible app that I use daily uh, that supports that church in the valley where I found this. So today is day 16 is called Wrapping Gifts. <clears throat> Gift giving is as old as Christmas itself. But people didn't always wrap a gift before they gave it to someone. In the late 1800s, almost all gifts were handmade. Once people started purchasing factory-made trinkets and toys, they wanted to make these gifts feel as though they were more, there was more effort put into them. So the gift giver began wrapping these presents in brown paper and decorating them. As you wrap gifts this Christmas, remember, <clears throat> excuse me, remember that the very first Christmas gift was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Luke 2, 7 says, she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. This was God himself wrapped in the form of a baby who came, who came so that he could wrap all of us in his love. So the takeaway today, take a drive around your neighborhood and look for a house that has a nativity scene. Think about what it means that the gift of Jesus came wrapped as a baby. I love that. So having prepared, um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. And I've pre-cut, uh, prepared a little bit my pages. So I was actually gifted um, a beautiful Christmas gift from um, a good friend already this season and she wrapped my gift in this lovely brown paper and I've already used it in one of the um, advent days pieces of it and this is a very simple um, journal page today but it will have significant meaning also, this red envelope that I showed you before, I'm getting a lot of use out of it. I just love the red. And I cut a piece out of the corner. I just realized these are all gifts um, given to me from girlfriends. So the brown paper, uh, the envelope was, um, a Christmas card was mailed. And this I cut out of the Christmas Carol book um, that my friend just gave me. And I'm going to use that as a little pocket. So I'm going to prepare. <clears throat> I just have one side that I'm going to glue closed here. Like I said, this is a very quick and easy Where's my parchment? I think I cleaned up too well. <laughs> Just put this underneath.
Okay, so I've created a little pocket there. And I'll leave that here to dry for a minute. And I've cut some of this brown so that I can put it, glue it to working in a very big space here. I don't know how I lost that parchment. <laughs> Just don't want to glue my pages together here. <clears throat> Silly. I like to try and have my supplies that I think I'll be using out and handy. And lucky for me, I have a studio space that I can have all my things in. However, If you don't have that, um, you can just put all your little things into a basket or a box or a bag. And then each morning as you prepare, you have everything ready to go. I love that, that God himself was wrapped in the form of a baby who came so that we could, so that he could wrap all of us in his love. You can see that some journal pages take a long time for painting and cutting and gluing and depends on how much time and space you're putting into it. But other journal pages, like today's, not as much time. Except when I lose things. <laughs> oh, and here's my little... A little baby Jesus in there. Close that up. And remember this tag that I wanted to use so much the other the other day. <laughs> I have found a use for it. There are fancy ways to make pockets and things, and like I've mentioned before, my sister makes beautiful journal books, and she has all kinds of ideas. She might cringe at this, <laughs> what I'm doing here. That could be my handle.
So this will take a little bit of drying time. But I love the idea that I have this brown paper. You could use a brown bag from the grocery store. And then that will have a little opening. And maybe on here I will write. Um, I'm going to write this first. So I'm going to just actually read this. So we have a little bit of time today. So in Luke 2, 1 to 7, this is about the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to, Ju to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. <clears throat> While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, 7. So I'll have to keep this open while it dries, but I will show you. Day 16 of Advent, wrapping gifts, a gift for you. Luke 2, 7, she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, press that button, the bell, so you get notifications, and share with a friend. Thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow.